So these drums are many centuries old from the Yoruba people of what we now know as Nigeria. And they take a very special place in the African drum family. Um, even though many instruments can be used to talk, these drums are more prolific because they're melodic and they follow the intonation of human speech. Traditionally, they would be played by somebody who's actually in a drummer's family, the Anyon. Those people would be the, the, the messengers um, and would play in many different social contexts, whether it be for a king, whether it be for parties, whether it be for funerals. Um, and the drums still today hold a lot of significance. In fact, these drums are from a larger family of talking drums. Um, so let's, let's meet the family. The one that I'm playing here is called Adamu. That's the one that you see more frequently, in fact, because it's more versatile. But like all children, it comes from a parent. This is the mother drum, the first talking drum. And it's known as Iyalu, which means mother drum. As you can see, it's large and it also has some bells attached to it, Sharawu, which are used for decoration and to, to exclaim the, the voice, uh, make the voice clearer. So let's have a listen. <laughs> Next in the family, we have one of the support drums, Ishaju. This drum is tied up and doesn't usually speak and plays the support patterns. Adamo, that's the next one. And then we have the very small one, which is called Omele. Omele is actually the roll of the drum um, and it plays support. So here we have the family of Yoruba talking drums, actually part of a larger family known as Dundun, which means sweet sound. But these drums are the only ones in that family that we squeeze to change the pitch with. The talking drum is made from the wood of a tree. Preferred wood is Omo wood. If I open out the drum here, you should be able to see that it's actually carved in an hourglass shape. And if you look very carefully, you should be able to see that there's a carved symbol on the drum, which is the house of Ayon, which is the spirit of drumming. The skin is put on while it's wet on both ends of the drum, and it's stitched on with these very small stitches here using leather. And thicker twisted leather is used to join the two drum faces together, so that as you squeeze these leather together like this, it changes the pitch of the drum. Once the skin is dry, then we use this rope to tension the skin. We tie it very tight to stretch the skin before we, it's actually ready to play. Once that's been stretched, then we release this string and we attach the strap so that the drum can be worn over the shoulder. How we play the drum is using this stick known as oppa, which is the curved stick. And we hold it just beneath the drum here. So we play in the middle like that. Let's look at how we wear the drum before we even start playing it. The strap here would go over your shoulder if you're right-handed, the strap goes over your left shoulder and your hand 
goes like this with your thumb just behind the strap so that you can actually secure the drum and your fingers go across here not actually on the skin because we need to hear the skin play. Once the strap is comfortable then you're ready to squeeze like this which is how we get the sound. Let's look at how we hold the stick. The stick known as oppa is this curved stick is quite loose in the hand like that so that we can flick with the wrist rather than play with the whole arm and we strike in the middle and squeeze at the same time it's important to play in the middle because these drums are actually quite fragile so if you're going to play at the edge you're more likely to break the drum so we aim for the middle let's try a simple do re mi Now a uh, mi, re, do. Once you've got the technique here of beating the stick and squeezing with your arm, you're ready to actually start talking. The talking drum is a very versatile drum. Apart from the Do, Re, Mi, we can also get upward glides and downward glides. Let's hear the downward glide when we squeeze it first. Using both hands, we can do drum rolls. We can do pumps. We can do slaps by holding the skin or even the side of the stick. Being careful not to break the drum. And very carefully, the curve of the stick can be used on the very edge. more sound effects. Now let's try using the talking drum to actually say something. We're going to speak in Yoruba, we're going to speak this proverb. Ninui koko dudu latin sebe. Now let's look at what we're doing to get those notes. We're starting off with a high pitch. And then we're going down to the very lowest pitch. So we're going. Now let's add the next word. Now the final piece, we take the middle note, Latin sebe. So we go mid high, mid low. One more time. And let's put it together. Ninui coco dudu, Latin sebe. again. We can turn that into a rhythm to practice. And we can go faster. Try speaking something else on the drum. This one is a praise, a praise for the king. Here it is. It goes Obato Eru Oba Nimoba. Obato Obato 
So you notice I'm saying obato and then I'm repeating obato eru oba ni mo ba obato here we go See the movement on my arm. The talking drum, of course, is so versatile, we can speak in any language. Let's try something in English. Hello. How are you today? Let's have a look at that. Hello. How are you? How are you? Today. Hello. How are you today? We can make a rhythm with that. The talking drum is so versatile, we can use it to sing songs. Here's a well-known nursery rhyme. London Bridge is falling down. Let's have a look how we can play that. So that's something for you to practice. So I hope you've really enjoyed this introduction to the wonderful instrument that is the talking drum and you can appreciate its versatility, this unique instrument.